Hi, I'm Judson. I'm Terry. And we survived Hurricane Ike in Houston, Texas in September 2008. We would, had about a four day uh, advance notice of the storm coming, uh, the storm been coming through the Caribbean, and the National Weather Service had slowly narrowed down the forecasted impact zone. In terms of actual preparation time, we only had about 24 hours. One hundred and thirty-five mile per hour wind. Our electricity went out around ten thirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> limbs crashing. There's still enough to knock trees over that are slicing through power lines. We didn't have electricity after that for twenty days, so we didn't know, you know, what happened. It taught us the importance of being prepared. Uh, it mm -hmm. taught us that having a plan and having supplies makes a huge difference uh, versus dealing with it when it comes. We saw a lot of people deal with it as it came, and I never want to be in that situation. Through our list, just kind of did a dry run of the things we would need to do if there were to actually be a hurricane impact in the Houston area, and it worked beautifully because we knew what our shortcomings were, we knew what supplies we were missing, uh, I had ordered uh, the few supplies we didn't have, and we had almost everything we needed. We have an electric generator, uh, battery and crank operated radios in both of our cars. Lots of uh, first aid. Cash. ATMs were offline for a couple of weeks. We had all the flashlights that we needed, um, a shovel for digging out of a storm. Seven days worth of water and food, uh, non-perishable. Having a kit offers not just peace of mind, it offers order and sanity to a what otherwise would be a really insane situation. Uh, just knowing that you have a plan that you can execute, knowing that you've got the supplies on hand that not just save life, but make it a lot more comfortable in those first few days after a disaster occurs, makes it easier to sleep at night. 